Hi, just really quick, I'm um, fixing this uh, Volkswagen Golf Plus vehicle. I uh, had the cables snapped right here, the where whenever you close the lid, the boot lid, the tailgate. On both sides we had cables snapped. Uh, unfortunately I didn't take photos of it, but some of them was burnt. And here are some photos that I found online of other people's vehicles. And uh, I had loads of cables snapped, not all of them. So you can order a complete wiring loom, but that's going to set you back hundreds of pounds. Or you just can get a repair wiring loom. It starts from £20 on eBay and it goes all the way up to 100 100 and something pounds. And you also have to wait until it's delivered. So what I did, I cut the wires. Obviously I didn't touch the ones that was intact, that was good. So the ones that was broke, I pulled them out and then I cut them and I've joined them together with some new wires. Because you don't want to solder the wires here because as it moves you keep closing and then opening it, it will. But first of all you can't use these ones because they won't fit in this little tube. And if you want to solder it, the solder joint will break as it moves always when you open the lid. So the best thing you can do is cut the wires inside the vehicle. So let's start with an easy side. On this side I only had one wire broken. So this is the only one I had to replace. Cut some of the wire and I took it with me to the local outer part shop where they gave me the exact same size as this one. You have to make sure the thickness of the cable is at least the same thick as the original. Then you just run this wire from this point down through there and connect it to the chassis with another eye. Well, I only bought one eye, so I had to solder it together because the joint of the union, I have the crimp union, which is a lot easier to work with. It was too thin and it, these uh, thick cables didn't fit in there so that was just a soldering job here so if you want to avoid this don't buy the red one because it won't fit there are three different sizes available the red blue and the yellow try to get the blue one which is one size bigger if you don't have the crimp tool then uh, just do solder it's gonna be a lot harder for you over the other side though so I do recommend you spend 15 pounds for a a crimp tool like this, it's very easy to use, you just squeeze it together and it crimps it. Or you can buy this for under £5, free next day delivery from Amazon. If you decide to go for the soldering version rather than the crimp terminals uh, be prepared that you cannot use these little tiny soldering irons as, as soon as you touch the wire it will cool down significantly and the solder will go hard and you just cannot I, I, I have to say again you cannot solder this thick wire with a small soldering iron so go for a big one I've got a hundred watts soldering iron and I think it's too much for it. I actually had to unplug it several times while I was soldering because it got so hot the actual insulation of the cable was burning. So probably a hundred watts would be a little bit overkill. That's one side done. That was easy. That was the easy job. But the other side is you've got these connectors with all these white wires and there's no way you can know which one goes where. There are um, number coding on there on the actual cables but the coding doesn't match up with the other ends of the cable. There is just no match and what I figured these numbers probably these numbers probably uh, correspond to the actual sockets number and then the little numbers below it is just says one, two, three, four. And that corresponds to the number on the socket. One, two, three, four. 
So there is no way you can figure out which one goes where. When it wants to snap, do you out of luck really? So what I did, again, I've cut the wires here, I've cut the wires here, pulled out the broken wires, I feed it up, feed it in some new wires, and then let's start with the easy part. You have one really thick brown and white cable. It's easy to find. These are the only two thick wires. All the rest is a lot thinner. Pull in the two new wires, which I have red ones here. And then on the other end, you find the thick um, wires and then you just connect them together. The hard one is to find where the, all the others go. Now I spent a few hours figuring it out. There we go, I've updated. So now we've got everything over here. Um, if you wanna pause the video, it's not a very good drawing here, but you can see everything where it's connected to. And uh, once you connect everything, then it will, everything will work. Um, the cables cost me, I've bought five meters of wire for, I don't know how many, I think seven of these were snapped some of these shorter ones and I think I've bought five meters of wire and the thicker wire the red one I've bought uh, sorry not these one what am I talking about these black ones they didn't have that really thin wire so I had to buy a little bit thicker ones but they still did fit in there and there is still room so it's fine you can go for a thicker wire but never go for thinner so for example these um, really fat white wires never replace the wire with a thinner one always use the same gauge or higher well lower really not lower number rating on american gauge or if you go for english like british number then you go for square mill then you choose a higher square mill so technically a feather cable and uh, the thinny ones if it's thinner you can replace it with a thicker that's not a problem but again never go from fatter to thinner because you're gonna melt the wires that you just put in never do that unless you want to work again on that of course you can buy a roll of tessa tape i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right it's technically a cloth tape and it's very similar to the one that has been on originally from factory. So you can uh, just wrap it all around the wires. And when you're driving on the motorway, it will not rustle around and it will not <laughs> make you mad, the noise. So, or also you can use just normal electrical insulation tape that will do the job as well. But, but once you're in the car park shop, you can just pick up one of these one roll will be more than enough for you they don't cost a lot okay so yeah just this time to put everything put all the covers back on the car and it should work just fine oh yeah and on the diagram there is one that says nc that stands for not connected but probably you will figure it out because there is no cable going into that plug if this video was helpful for you then Please like and you can subscribe to this channel where I will probably not post any automotive repair videos again. You may like the rest of the videos I have, so just subscribe. And uh, leave a comment below because I really wonder how many people have this problem. This is a Golf Plus, but I've seen a lot of pictures online people posted about this uh, broken. And as far as I know, the Golf 5s as well have a lot of problems with these wires. And I also had a previous experience in a Vauxhall Omega that had a similar issue. So it's very common. This is a 15 years old car, so old cars gonna have this problem. So, thanks for watching. Bye.